know, man, you guys. The other part was pretty crazy, man. We ended up losing our camera. We had to walk in the darkness looking for it. And the and fucking jump scare. And plus, we got surprised by a mob. I think three guys count as a mob. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Uh, welcome back to another gameplay of Outlast. And it looks like this is the other side from where we were playing previously. So we're still looking for Father Martin and it doesn't show like any signs of we're getting closer. But as we get going deeper, things get more scarier you guys. Alright. Oh shit. What the fuck? Holy shit. I was about to walk in there man. I guess we have to go down. Okay, it looks like the whole fucking floor is gonna come down you guys. Oh damn, that's a pretty... Oh wait, this thing's falling off. Ah, let's make this jump! <gasps> Holy shit, that was far. Wait, what? Are you f a friendly? I don't, I don't trust none of these guys, you guys. N Only one way out. Only one way. Okay. Please don't touch me. Okay. How do you know you're not a patient? Wait, what? How do you know what? He said something, but I quite didn't understand him. All right, let's crouch down. Damn, this is a pretty long hallway with a lot of crap on it. If, I feel like we're going right back into the like oh shit our camera is not it's malfunctioning oh what the I don't, I'm telling you guys this little little stopping uh, loading outs I'm not a really fan of them and there's uh, quite a few in this game there's also like a little bit of like little glitches here and there or stutters in the game but uh, I guess it's not too bad I mean it's a free game and it provides what is intended to scare the shit out of you. What the fuck? I see a freaking shadow over in the front. What the? Okay, you guys. That definitely has me a little starter now. We go to the chapel, cafeteria, recreational. What the fuck? Oh, son of a bitch. I am going back. <laughs> oh, what the? F that shit freaking lagged on me right there. Wow. That was not my video recording, you guys. Oh, shit. Where did he go? Okay. We are definitely not saving here. Wait, there's no way that he can pop behind me, right? Fuck. We gotta go this way, you guys. I don't have no other choice. Oh, no. He's right there. Oh, damn it. I can't zoom in that time. Fuck. We got no other choice. Man. We're never gonna get and see this guy, you guys. Right there. Fuck. There's a fucking guardian in here. Can I go in here? Oh, yes, I can. Let's close this shit. Right. This place looks sort of familiar, but I don't think it's the same, though. I don't know. I might be wrong, though. All these freaking rooms look the same. Alright. Fuck. We gotta go back in there, you guys. Uh. Whatever. We don't got no other choice. Right there, you guys. Fuck. God damn it, man. Why does it? Why won't he leave? Why won't he leave? Oh no. Let's close this. Fuck. Hopefully, it doesn't come through this door. Oh my God, he's fucking coming. He's fucking coming. Ah! Oh my God. Oh shit. Fuck. Oh yeah. Oh man. This guy is fucking quick, man. I <laughs> okay, damn. That is not gonna work out, I guess. I was trying to be a little bit smart, like open the doors he busted in, but he fucking got me really quick. That is not fair, man. That big body should not move that fast. Damn that, man. Damn it. Okay, you guys. I got a plan. I am going straight for it. Let's see if I got the balls. Oh, let's run for it. Ah! Oh, yes. Wait, what the? Oh shit, do I go up here? Ah! ah! They can't still grab me. Okay, you guys, uh, what the? There's some smoke, some sort of smoke around here. Oh shit. What the? There's something else on here in the vent too? Ah, man. Run away from one fucker to. Oh yeah, there's definitely something here, you guys. There's definitely a dead body in here. Oh, dang, that is some. Oh my god, that is some fucked up shit, you guys. Wow. Poor guy, man. 
We gotta move him out of the way though. Oh wait, this room looks familiar. This room is definitely where we were earlier. So, so the nostalgia, you guys, the nostalgia. <laughs> okay. Maybe we're getting closer to the exit. I can see the exit, you guys. Okay, but I am not a fan of this place though. Wasn't this wait, wasn't there uh this place where the guy was like stuck through like right be uh there was like a huge thing impelled in the middle of him? Alright. Oh fuck and this freaking broken camera is not making things any easier for us. Oh shit. Did I just go in a whole circle? Yes I did you guys. <laughs> okay, we cannot go through there. Is there somewhere else up here that we need to go? I have no idea. Oh, there's a document. Let's pick it up. Let's see what it is. Nah, uh, the spirit breach. Uh, that is pretty long, you guys. Uh, you probably might want to pause to read all of that. Oh, fuck. Now, wait. I thought this was the way, but it, it doesn't... Oh, wait. Never mind. Is it? No, okay, never mind. Let's go back out. I thought it was this place, but I guess not. Where else do we need to go? Oh, wait. I didn't see this door right here. But at least we didn't go there for nothing. What? He's like the messenger. Alright, so what, we need to find something in the key. What? I was did not get to read everything. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is not the way. And maybe we have to get the key to go through here. Oh crap, I just noticed right now we only have one fucking battery left. Damn it, things are not getting any easier, but I expected that. I mean, anyways, I am playing in a hard mode. But there's also insane mode. I was like, God damn, this thing gets harder. I guess it's probably one hit KO. <laughs> okay. Let's try to go down here and see what it's in here. It's definitely getting creepier. Uh, I need a battery though. I mean, I do have one, but I don't want to find an extra one. Right, there's music. At least that makes it a little bit more or less. So it makes it a little bit less creepy. A little bit. No, but actually, no. That, that kind of music makes it more creepy, though. Alright, let's reload this bitch. Let's go up here. But there is more light in here, so I feel a lot more safer. Having light is always a good thing. Who's playing that piano, though? It sounds like a piano song. Someone playing the piano. Well, Oh, I was gonna say, wasn't that where we're down there? Okay. I guess we're gonna go towards the music. Alright, let's check down here. Uh, I guess we have to jump down here, right? There's definitely a lot of lockers. I mean, probably we're meant to be hiding in them. Later. Okay, let me see. I always see doors, but I don't... I'm pretty sure it's locked, but I just want to try to open it. Yeah, I know it. I, I never learn, you guys. I always want to see, making sure that they're open. Because I'm trying to get as many documents as I can. I'm pretty sure I missed a lot of them while I was running for my life. I mean, who would look for a document running for your life, right? Okay, oh, I see a battery. Yes. Earlier I was finding so many batteries. Now I'm like finding one here and there. I'm pretty sure probably because I've been running all the time. <laughs> and I have no time to stop. What man is gonna stop for a battery, right? Or for a document? I'm like, fuck this shit, man. I'm out. Okay, where do... Oh, I was gonna say, where do we go from here? Okay, you guys, it's getting <gasps> darker in this bitch. And I am definitely... I am not lying to you guys. I do not feel comfortable in this place. Knowing that there's nobody here playing that piano no more. Okay. What the fuck? Exit interview recorded December 27th, 1985 in Los Alamos, New Mexico. Clearance Sierra Alpha. Subject, Dr. Rudolph Wernicke, 14866. The 
The films are real. Uh, there was no alteration to the footage at all? No trickery? None. In June of 1943, you recorded three instances of spontaneous bleeding. Uh, a half a dozen test subjects began to develop brain tumors? Yes. The autopsies revealed that the tumors were pure lead. It killed them? Can you explain why the results could not be reproduced in the United States? I have my theories. My homeland in those years. It's impossible to understand the things we felt, but we believed. The overwhelming fear, ecstatic rage, and English birds are insufficient. More than hope. A human mind in that environment is capable of extraordinary things. You're saying the experiment needed... The proximity to death. To overwhelming madness. Only a test subject who had witnessed that of horror was capable of activating the engine. Do you believe your test subjects achieved something supernatural? No. Do you think that they contacted something supernatural? Nothing is supernatural. Then what was it? You said Project Wallrider was a gateway. A gateway to what? Okay, was that the end of it? I'm curious, the gateway to what? Do I get closer or something? Okay, I guess that's the end of the movie. That is some crazy shit, you guys. Man, I'm pretty sure that was not the gate to heaven. <laughs> it's the opposite to that, man. Nothing like that is nice. It was meant to be left like that so you can find out. I thought I heard something. Alright. That was a pretty interesting movie clip, you guys. Um, I guess it's time to leave it at the end of this part, you guys. And hopefully you enjoyed that movie. I did. It gives a little bit more background of what's going on in this fucking fucked up place. Alright. And hopefully if you guys liked this, please subscribe, comment, and like. And remember that this was Fear D. I'll be seeing you guys later.